In the last lecture we solved our first problem on phasors and now we are going to solve our problem number 2. And in this problem we are required to transform these two sinusoids to phasors. And it is very easy to have the phasor representation of the first sinusoid which is V is equal to 7 cos 2t plus 30 degrees. We know in case of phasor representation we include two informations of a sinusoidal function and the first information is the information of amplitude which is 7 in this case and the second information is the information of phase which is 30 in this case and therefore the phasor representation will be 7 angle 30 degrees in volts and uh, this phasor representation is corresponding to the peak value of voltage V and if we want to have the phasor representation corresponding to the RMS value then we will divide the peak value by root 2 and in this way we will have the phasor representation corresponding to the RMS value of voltage V. So this is our answer and now we will move on to our second sinusoid. Now in case of second sinusoid which is I is equal to minus 4 sin 10 t plus 10 degrees we can't have the phasor representation directly like this. The reason is we do not have the standard form of the parent signal. The standard form is I is equal to I m cos omega t plus minus theta and here we have minus 4 sin 10 t plus 10 degrees. So we need to get rid of two things. The first one is the negative sign and the second one is the sine function and uh, we know if we have cos theta with an amplitude equal to im and we perform the left shifting operation by 90 degrees then we will have a new function which is im cos theta plus 90 degrees and this function we know is equal to negative of im sine theta. Now compare this with this and you will find I m is equal to 4 and theta is equal to 10 t plus 10 degrees and therefore I m cos theta plus 90 degrees with this value of amplitude and this value of theta will be equal to current I. So we can say that current I is equal to 4 cos 10 t plus 10 degrees plus 90 degrees. So we have current I equal to 4 cos 10 t plus 100 degrees and the phasor representation will be 4 angle 100 degrees in amperes and this is corresponding to the peak value of current I and the phasor representation corresponding to the RMS value will be equal to 4 over root 2 angle 100 degrees in amperes. So this is the answer of the second part. Now before I wind up this lecture I want to give you one shortcut following which you can convert the signal in one form to the same signal in the another form without going through these conversions and the first step in the shortcut method is to have the x and y axis and the x axis is for cos and the y axis is for sin and after this we will focus on the signal we want to convert into another form and here we have i equal to negative of 4 sin 10 t plus 10 degrees so we have negative of sine this means this one and uh, we have plus of 10 degrees and we know angle which is positive is measured in anti-clockwise direction and the angle which is negative is measured in clockwise direction so we will have current i 
like this 10 degrees in anti-clockwise direction from negative of sine and we know the standard signal is I m cos omega t plus minus theta so we need positive of cos and our signal is located here therefore we will shift this positive of cos to this signal and for that we have to travel 90 plus 10 degrees in anti-clockwise direction therefore we have plus of 100 degrees so it is now very simple to have the transformed signal we can write current i equal to 4 cos omega t plus 100 degrees which is same as this result now to make it more clear let us take one more sinusoid v is equal to negative of 5 sine omega t minus 30 degrees so here we have negative of sine so we are here and then we have minus 30 degrees so from this axis 30 degrees in clockwise direction our signal is present and we want the standard form which is vm cos omega t plus minus theta so we have positive of cos we are here and to move cos to this particular signal's location we have to travel 90 degrees minus 30 degrees which is 60 degrees in anti-clockwise direction so the angle will be positive and therefore we can say that v will be equal to 5 cos omega t plus 60 degrees and the phasor of v will be 5 angle 60 degrees we can also travel in clockwise direction if we travel in clockwise direction then the angle we are traveling is equal to 180 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 30 degrees which is equal to 300 degrees and the sign we will have will be negative why because we are traveling in clockwise direction and therefore we can have v equal to 5 cos omega t minus 300 degrees and the corresponding phasor will be 5 angle minus 300 degrees so i hope the shortcut method is clear to you and now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one